Furman's music scene diverse or dull? Furman's music scene can be categorized into three main areas of influence, the music department, student organizations, and student social life. The music department at Furman is one of the most prestigious in the country. Orchestras, we have many, many uh, alumni who are now teachers in college level. We also have lots of performers. We have instrumentalists who play in the best service bands in the country. We have singers who have sang, who have sang on stage in New York with opera and musical theater, so our students are, are very well accomplished. The music department's performances reach a large part of Furman's community. Ensembles, the uh, Furman Singers, the Furman Symphony Orchestra, which is playing tonight, and the band program and the jazz program, they're all in the evenings. Uh, then all of our faculty give uh, concerts uh, uh, throughout the year uh, through the Daniel Recital Hall. The marching band obviously performs at the, at the uh, football games, the basketball band performs at all of uh, uh, home basketball games. So we're quite, I think we're quite involved in the uh, uh, community. Another way Furman students are exposed to different music genres is through student organizations. So the Pauper Players is Furman's student-run musical theater organization. Basically it's like uh, community theater on Furman's campus that's entirely run by students. Well, everyone knows someone who's involved with public players. I think in our most recent production, Susical, up to 4% of the student body was involved in the production, which might not seem like a lot, but then when you think about one in every 25 people, that equates to one person in each of your classes on average. Students have the opportunity to participate in clubs involving music like popper players, as well as all of the acapella groups like Futones and music fraternities. Other ways students get involved in music on campus are through social events. Everyone knows and that's the concert that happens twice a year. There's also usually um, Toast and Jams, which is kind of student bands that just come and perform, which I always love watching because you never see these people and you're like, oh my gosh, they have such raw talent. Um, we also are actually throwing a CLP this next Monday, come out, <laughs> um, but it's for Step Africa and it's just showing their culture with their dance, so it's actually culturally diverse, which is really interesting. Um, I've gone to football games and um, concerts and activities that Fermo has put on for us, um, and you can definitely see that music is a big part. Um, I'm not personally involved in anything musical, but I know I have lots of friends who are. Um, and I love that. I do love listening to music, so, um, and you can definitely see it around campus and you know that it's happening. But how diverse is Furman students' exposure to different music genres? The music department, the music department has a lot of the, um, what you would call the traditional uh, venues, uh, like the, the, the large ensembles and the chamber music. Uh, our students get involved in a lot of the things that are student run, what, like you said, the acapella groups, and also uh, things like the pauper players. Uh, our, uh, many of our instrumentals put together uh, smaller groups that perform on their own. So there's a kind of a, it's kind of like a concentric circle, I think, from the music department and then the students start to get involved in other things. I think it's fairly diverse, especially once you leave the music department. The music department is fairly focused on classical music, but once you go outside, you have things like pauper players, that do musical theater. You'll have performers in Tupelo Honey that sing country or rock music. They'll be bringing in outside people to do concerts, like Kane and Smith, I think, recently was one. So there's a whole bunch of diversity in music at Furman, if you want to find the diversity in music at Furman. I think that there's different groups of listeners. Like I think there's pop, I think there's alternative, I think there's um, country, and I think there's jazz. There's a good amount of jazz people here too, but they're very name oriented people. I think it's hard for them to listen to music that is out of their comfort zone. You know, FUSAB, like an organization that um, brings a lot of concerts to Furman and lots of different musical genres. They seem like they have, you know, multiple different, they just bring in a whole lot of variety over the years, um, but I'm not totally sure um, how that looks like on a broader scale throughout all of Furman. I think, um Music is, is so uh, ingrained kind of in all of our experiences. I mean, from when, whether you're, um, uh, if you're watching television, I mean, music is a big portion of that, so is film. So uh, people uh, learning more, more about what, um, how music is 
uh, performed and how it's created, I think makes a, makes a, for a very much a much more richer life.